We'll come back to go fish you. So in this bowl, if you remember two weeks ago, these are the fish that I rescued from that pond. So four goldfish and I can't remember how many were. I think it's 13 now. We lost two, two jumped out. Anyway, we're gonna get them out in a minute and just make sure everything's okay. But we're also gonna move them. They're gonna go in here. I'll go back out the rest of that, give it a clean. And the fish that were in there are gonna go, well, I'll show you where they're going in a second, but they're over here at a minute. Nice little selection of goldfish and chipumpkins. Anyway, they're going to go in our patio pond. Put them back out, really. So they're going to go in there with those little ones down there. And then they'll overwinter in there. They'll be fine. So yeah, so we're going to get the rud out and the goldfish. I was tempted to put the goldfish down the back with the others, but it's only been two weeks, just over two weeks. I don't really want to do that, just in case they've brought anything in with them. But they can go in here, which will sort of have more room to swim around. Should be a bit, a bit better for them. First, we've got to clean the filter, a little pressure filter. That's all I have on there. There shouldn't be anything else because we're coming into winter at some point, so they're not going to need feeding. And we just put our, cut the arrows back, cut the lily up back, and pop them back in here. That's where they live. And yeah, as I said, we'll get the rud out and the goldfish and see what they're like. So anyway, I'm going to back this out, give it a clean. And we'll take it from there. I'll put the golf, I'll put the goldfish and spunkings in the patio pond now. And that gives me a bowl. Got some big black ones. I might put them down the end, down the back. Quite surprising, black ones sell quite quite well. I wouldn't have thought they would do, but they do. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Ladies. Right, so that's the pond pumped out and cleaned. Uh, I haven't gone overboard, it doesn't have to be spotless or anything. Uh, they're going to be in here all winter, so put the plants back in. The baskets, the filter's been cleaned, just going to put the sponge back in. That's the only problem with oh, pressure filters is the sponge is getting knackered after a while. And you do have to replace them. Right, so this is a spare off cut, as you can see. Because our sponge has gone a bit small. So what I tend to do is just wrap it round. I think I'll do this one-handed. Keep it in shot, which I probably can't. That's easy. Wrap it round like that. And that goes back in there like that. I've had these, this one here, and that little, they're both um, hose lock uh, filters. I've had them for about 20 odd years, and they're great for little backups. I need a backup filter. Right, what have we done with the lid for it? Mm, it's around somewhere. Sorry about that. There we go. Right. So there's no UV on this. And so they're only temporary. Good little backups. And the problem with these is the clips. It is quite old. And they've got quite worn out. As you can see, I've just dropped one on the floor. Right, well I can't do this one-handed, so I'll get right back to you. Right, so I've got the clips back on, foams are back in, it's all being cleaned. It's not spotless, but it doesn't need to be for this application. And as you can see, it's just temporary. So it's sitting over winter in here now. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump a bowl of water out right into my blue bowl, so over here. Ignore the mess, everywhere it's a mess always. Put it on the floor and then pump some water out and then we're going to pump the rest of it into the pond. This is just so we can have a look at the fish. Might do us, I think. I'm just going to drop the water level in the round bowl in here so we can catch the fish. Right, let's pick this bowl up. Oh. Right, let's see if we can catch the goldfish first. 
without the wood jumping out would be pre preferable. And what we're going to do with the pond, once we've pumped the water out of here, we're going to top it up with water out of the water room, out the water butt. Oh, my golf is shut. That's lazy. Don't want to spook them too much. There we go. It's one handed. Two. And of course, we've got to hide under the pump. Got red, I didn't want red in the net. Not just yet, anyway. Asking to be caught, he is. Oh, got red in here as well. Let's take the red out. Without losing the goldfish. Get the goldfish. It looks like a female. Definitely looks like a female. There's one more in here. Under the pump. <laughs> Probably take the pump out. As we're using it to pump the water out of that. Oh, I do love round bowls. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm going to have to get another net for him. Always the males. And it's always the males. Uh, uh, gotcha. Always the males. But the lot difficult ones to catch. Right, now these should really go down the back. But as it's only been two weeks, I don't know if they've come in with anything. They all look fine. Nice red cover. Nice red cover. Anyway, let's not annoy him too much. I think this is a female. I'm sure it's a female. Right, so they're going to go in here. Which we'll do in a second when it's got a bit more water in it. And then I'll get right back to you. Just going to put the water butt on. Get a bit more water in and we'll drop the goldfish in there. And then we'll have a cut of red. Right, so that's all the wood caught. Two... Four, six, seven, eight, nine, I think we've got. I think it was 13 to start with, 12, 12 to start with. Sorry, anyway. I think that's all of them. And you see, they all look in fine health. But they're going to go in that pond as well with goldfish. This gives them a bit more room so they can have a winter better instead of being stuck in this tub here. There's a little goldfish in there somewhere. Let's swim around the back there. There he goes. Don't need to get out. And he's gone straight into the nope, missed him. Just down there. Anyway, so we'll put these away into that pond and we'll go back to you. Right, so that's the goldfish and the golden and the rudd in their new temporary home. Now they'll sit in there over winter and probably won't disturb them again now. Even the temperatures have come up a little bit. But I expect them to go back down next weekend or next week, shall I say. Um, so that's that done. All I've got to do is tidy up now. Uh, the main reason for moving them was A, give them more room to swim around and B, I've got to empty the four foot fish tank in the back room and I couldn't get to it with that lot in the way. So now I've got to tidy up, which I'm not going to film. I think that'd be a bit boring for you. You probably think this has been boring. But I, uh, I said I would show you what, what I would do with them and how they would look after two weeks. And that's what I've done. So if you like this content, think about subscribing, hit the thumbs up if you like it, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down, that's fine. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, peace out.